Chafing Armor Podcast Crossover Adventure Part 2, Cavern Secret. Welcome back to the Chafing Armor Podcast. I'm your host and lovable Dungeon Master, Michael Corley. And with me tonight is Miss L. L, uh, tell everyone who you will be playing. Hello, everybody. I will be playing May Lyra Tel Nevelis, a tiefling bard who is very lost and confused. <laughs> very much so, literally and figuratively. Mm -hmm. And also with us tonight is Sam. Sam, tell us who you will be playing. I'll be playing Father Larsonado, a half-elf druid rogue who wanted to steal some poor woman's stuff while she was meandering all over the place. Yeah. That, hey, uh, I think that's very accurate and found himself uh, yeah. completely somewhere else and, and nearly got his head bashed in with a rock. Uh, yeah. And Lots of things have happened. You know, life happens. And mm. also with us tonight is Lee. Lee, tell us who you will be playing. G'day, everybody. My name is Lee, and tonight I will be playing... Os no. Um, <laughs> today I will be playing Sideways Rain, the tabaxi monk from Shingo, and a mysterious... Different world. <laughs> Why you gotta do me like that? <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, definitely very some very strange things happening indeed. But also with us, our more familiar uh, uh, playing characters is a dare. Dare tell everyone who you will be playing. Howdy, y'all! I am playing Tix Birchmanson, everybody's favorite diminutive gnome cleric. Oh, wonderful. And also with us, the uh, very good at catching flying tieflings <laughs> is uh, Riley. Riley, tell us who you will be playing. Hello, I'm Riley, and I'm playing Athora Greyfield, a fighter tiefling. Wonderful. And when we last left our characters, uh, we found these three characters from another show. Uh, really quickly, y'all guys, uh, would y'all like to tell us uh, a little bit about this show? Yeah, so we're from the um, the online Twitch streamed D and D. Oh God, help me out, guys! <laughs> it's uh, Sam, Mrs. Lante, and myself are part of an online Twitch streamed live D and D game uh, every Sunday, five PM Australian Eastern Standard Time. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Calga. Well, every two weeks. Every second Sunday. Every Sunday. second Sunday. Yes, every just second Sunday. Watch, just watch the Twitters and you'll find out when it's happening. It's yes. a great time. We D&D &D and we talk all kinds of crap all the time. And it's called Try oh, Rolling boy. Better Because Sam Died Once. <laughs> Not because of that. This is lies and slander. <laughs> I'm going to sue you for this. <laughs> I'm take you to court. Uh, yeah, and uh, <clears throat> and I should mention that uh, not only are we having the wonderful crossover where uh, these wonderful players are coming over to the Chafing Armor universe, but some of our players are going to appear on there. So you would definitely want to check out what happens when Penton and Marezi and the Kinku uh, get sucked on into theirs as well. When we last left the players, uh, these uh, mysterious figures from another world, uh, Fava uh, and uh, May and Sideways Rain, found themselves sucked in through an exploding chicken hut, uh, who is in a constant state of explosion right now with the staffs of Seraphin and a strange uh, fragment. Um, uh, describe, uh, Lee, what, what that looks like, by the way. So the fragment that is. that is currently revolving the staff of Seraphin in, inside the chicken hut is, it's about uh, six inches, seven inches long, made of ironwood, and in it, it's snapped at both ends. Uh, it appears to have come from a much larger staff, and it, is, it has uh, several engravings on it in what appear to be infernal characters. Very, very good. Um, and... Uh, Y'all got sucked through, uh, sending our players uh, uh, reeling, some of them disappearing, not quite sure what happened to them. 
and after a, a little bit of hubbubaloo, you found a vampire illithid mind flayer attacking a merchant uh, who was then being slowly drawn into a mysterious cave nearby. After leaving a very well written uh, warning note, uh, would anyone like to say what was on that warning note? Danger, danger! High voltage! Far voltage. Uh, yeah, high yeah, voltage. Uh, high no, voltage. No one, no one does uh, ringtones anymore, but if I did ringtones, I would totally just extract that, uh, Miss L, and that would be my ringtone. <laughs> danger, danger! High voltage! Um, <laughs> Yeehaw! Uh, as y'all left to warn anyone not to touch the uh, slowly exploding hut. Uh, mm -hmm. You are left with this uh, cavern that has a strange chanting coming from it. Uh, would would anyone like to go in first? I'll go in first. Nah. nah. Yes, the heavily the heavily <laughs> armored one should go first. Tex will go <laughs> along with Athora and have Destiny Seeker and a spell on his lips. Okay. And it's... as you approach, by the way, uh, uh, Tix, uh, you hear Destiny Seeker, as you do in your mind, say, Ah, yes, I remember the Underdark. And of course, you remember, you gained uh, Destiny Seeker by defeating a drow. Uh, so, doubtless, uh, it is familiar with the Underdark. Question. Mm -hmm. Is this merchant woman the only one walking there, or are there other people around walking to this? Uh, that is a good question. Y'all are kind of in the middle of nowhere. Uh, there is a path uh, that is leading to Zental Keep uh, that goes north, uh, and that's apparently what this woman was on, but uh, she appears to be alone. So it's not like there's a stream of you know villagers mm. or anything uh, being drawn inside. So we're just going to leave her tied up there. Everybody happy with that? Tix is. Okay. Cool. I don't have anything better. I mean, she could lead the pack, but whatever. <laughs> oh, well, hopefully she doesn't get attacked again. Uh, anyway. So, uh, Athora, uh, you uh, ready yourself, and Tix is, is there alongside you as you make your way into this cavern. It is not, this isn't like some giant opening. It's, it's about, uh, you know, uh, maybe... Uh, five feet high, so you probably need to stoop down. How, how tall is a Thora, uh, by the way? Let me check. I'm it's curious. been forever since I've had to check. Uh, uh, I don't think I've ever uh, got actually gotten that in my head, so that's the kind of thing I like to pause just to get a little extra flavor with. Uh, I have it written down somewhere. All right, while you're looking that up, I want everybody right now, go look at your sheets right now, and I want to know how tall everybody is. Uh, so, but I know, I know one person who knows that. Tix, how tall is Tix? Three <laughs> foot seven of three enormous seven. pride. Uh, Damn it! I have to convert. <laughs> oh, that's right! I forgot. Oh, <laughs> centimeters. Uh, you can you, you can say centimeters if you want. It's fine. Uh, one ninety five centimeters, which is six, six point foot, three nine yeah. seven six four feet. Wow, six point so four feet. Four. He's six four four. Yeah. That's a, he's a big boy. Yeah. Uh, I'm an is. elf. I'm half elf. That's true. Hell, uh, elves, you tend to be a little more slender. I've got five five foot four. Okay. Uh, six foot seven. Six foot seven for the tabaxi monk. Damn. Uh, what is his coloration, by the way? Uh, he is brain. he is white, and there are flat gray stripes can be seen on his arms. And his his shins and his his fur, and he's very fluffy. <laughs> he's not, not entirely. He does have some fluff poking out every so often. He's not really all that fluffy. He's so fluffy. <laughs> he's so fluffy. You're gonna die. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Athora, I would like you to make a reflex saving throw, please. Oh boy. Uh... Twelve. Hey, twelve. Yeah. Um, so I was curious who was going in first, and even though I was being silly and did want to know everyone's height, uh, it kind of matters when a giant 
blade comes slicing sideways uh, towards you. Uh, you are struck by this blade. Ow. Uh, Tix, you are not because you are less than four feet tall. Yes, um, he, he's a he is a penitent man, but he does not need to kneel. Uh, th- it, this is literally that trap. I was uh, I, I expected it to be so. Yes, yep, excellent. Yep, this is literally that trap. Uh, <laughs> so, Athora, you actually take nine points of damage as this blade slams into you. Ugh. The the good news is you are wearing heavy armor and it protects you from being sliced in half. Uh, but the the damage you take is the brunt force of the blade just slamming into your body. Uh, as you are knocked aside into the ground. And by the way, the blade uh, goes and then it resets itself. That's not very inviting. Ow. Shame we don't have a... uh, (laughs) That just hit me in the face. Just see Althora lying in the ground going, Ouch. (laughs) It is but a Uh, flesh wound. (laughs) Oh, yes, and she is six foot five, so she totally gets... And and, uh, Tix, it literally just goes over your head. (laughs) Uh, Much much like everything in this world. (laughs) Oof. Uh, Father, can you fix that, please? The the trap. Yeah, I I know how to crouch. Don't you know how to crouch? (laughs) (laughs) I mean, jeez, okay. I mean, can't you turn that thing off? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You're a rogue. Isn't one of your things disabled trap? Sure, I guess. Um, I don't know if I'm high enough lever for that. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think that's a thing that I have. It's, it's a level Just two, duck. Right? Just duck. <laughs> Just look at the situation and improvise and adapt to it. Just duck. Ticks. This guy's for, got I'm it. Here oh for wait, a rogue he's who refuses to disarm traps. This is amazing. Uh, yeah. After this you, is, you, is, you show is, us how it's done. Yes. Okay. Show us how to show us how to limbo, sir. I mean, Tex has already done a really good demonstration. Oh wait. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna crouch. Do I have to? Do I have to roll to crouch? Tix looks for a mechanism to turn it off. I'll use uh, a there spot There is check. one. There, there is one. Uh, no, you don't. You don't even need a spot. I mean, there is one, but you do not have that particular skill. You can't reach it. <laughs> uh, that is also technically true. <laughs> it's about five feet up on the wall. I've never disarmed a trap, which is probably part of the part of the thing of it being weird for me. Uh, disarming. Traps. Let's see what Google has to say about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just like I. I want to. Uh, I love the idea that you just pull out your your fantasy phone and begin googling <laughs> it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I commune with with the spirits or whatever, and I just the like, hey, how Google. do I do that? The spirit of goo and gull. I mean, I can do. I can do a search check which i assume is a investigation check to mm-hmm. but that's to detect it before it's triggered um well it's being triggered so you know yeah. it's there yeah i don't know i've never do done this not, shit do you before. not have the do you not have the skill to disarm the trap i don't know that i do because i'm only a level okay. two rogue <laughs> Like I'm a level four you, druid. You may not. You may not. So, so yeah. if we're going by three point five rules, it is a class skill for disabled device that he can use untrained. Mm. So, he should still be able to use it on his three point five sheet, which mm. would just be his dexterity modifier without training. That's true. God, that would you like to try? Yeah, sure. I'll try it. Okay, give that roll and add your dex modifier. What was that roll again? Just a dexterity uh, mod. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a five. Totally. Five? Yeah. That's a, well, it's it, wait. Is it a saving throw or is it a, a dex? No, no. You you roll you roll a d twenty and then add your dexterity modifier on top of it. You got cut In off. In your like... case, add your dex modifier, which is I believe plus two for you. Yeah, exactly. So it's five. Okay. Ah, so it's three yeah, plus yeah, no. three plus two equals five. 
Uh, yeah. So the uh, the trap springs again. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say that it's not reasonable that any of the other characters would be in range of the trap while you're attempting this. No. Uh, so yeah. I would like you to make a reflex saving throw, please. Okay. Now that's much better. That is a thirty-two. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Seven, so seventeen this... plus fifteen. Like I mean. Hey. <laughs> So when this when this swinging blade uh, comes towards you, please describe to me how uh, Fava avoids uh, getting sliced in half. Um, I I do this this really complicated acrobatic move of ducking. Have you heard of ducking, people? Have you heard of ducking? It's when you're tall, but then you make yourself short by like bending your knees. I just, I just have this image, knowing, knowing how Father gets through most stuff. He triggers the trap, and then instead of realizing he's triggered the trap, spots something shiny on the floor and just, ooh, to pick it up, and the trap goes off above him. No, That's no, no. What I do, I what I do is, I, is I walk up very cautiously, looking like I'm going to, like, you know, disarm it, and then it accidentally goes off, and then I duck him, like, I meant to do that. Actually, <laughs> I was demonstrating the 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 concept of ducking to people who do not understand. You're welcome. <laughs> you pull it uh, kind of like kind of like earlier, where you know I meant to do that. Uh, you, yeah. Uh, with the uh, with the vampire illithid, uh, you're like, uh, no, this is what I meant to do. Yeah. Um, no, gotcha. Um. <laughs> anyway, so you um. Uh, show everybody how to duck, and uh, <laughs> everyone is able to uh, go on. Duck. Now, here's the question: uh, Do you want to do you want to go forward looking for traps uh, from this point on? Sure. sure. Yes, I'll, you I'll, do. I'll, I'll a... Yes, you do. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's what I said. That's why I said sure. Shut up. Let me just say my thing. I'm gonna go forward and 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 keep an eye out. For traps for everyone. Um, okay. I deeply appreciate my... that. Even though <laughs> I don't to appear to be stands. in danger of it. Yes. The only <laughs> traps Tix needs to worry about are floor-based ones. Yes. Uh, so that, that's when a... my technic is going to fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is the don't... one that I kept... When we first started playing, this is what I kept saying was perception. Because uh, I kept trying to say 5e terms. Uh, but give me a, a perception check, because that's what's on your sheet, mm -hmm. um, if you do not mind. That is a 12. A 12 total? Yeah, that's not my best roll. Ah, okay. Uh, hey, you know, they happen. Uh, welcome to my world. <laughs> uh, Which we were always thankful for. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you're uh, welcome, guys. I'll I'll take all the hits. And uh, uh, you are making your way forward. You're examining everything, and then you are distracted by a, a very interesting stone that's laying on the ground. It's <laughs> very round. It's amazing. Um, and uh, you, uh, there's that moment of that click as your foot comes down. On something, and you hear fuh, 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 as the walls fill with darts uh, flying through the air. And I would like you to make a reflex saving throw, please. <laughs> Go on, good rolls, good rolls. <laughs> Jeez, that's a nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, uh, Y'all do not understand. It's like when people talk about walking through raindrops. How this guy who just so lackadaisical and so not into it is just suddenly <laughs> like Matrix style voom, 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 <laughs> as he's avoiding uh, these various ones. Uh, and in fact, the very last one you actually knock away with a weapon. What would that weapon be? Uh, that would probably be my scimitar. I just, yeah. just kind just of ping, deflect that very it. last one. Yep. I know Kung Fu. There you go. There you go. Uh, but you have successfully not uh, gotten poison darted, um, which you appreciate. The, the it's not ground that is hard, now. Guys. Uh, by the way, uh, I told you that you saw a very interesting stone uh, on the ground. Um, mm -hmm. I well, thought I had the picture ready, and I don't. Oh my god! Am I going to get to say how beautiful the stone is? Um, yes, yes, you are. Oh my god! 
I'm so excited. Gallstones are always beautiful. <laughs> uh, that's not what I've heard. There we go. That's what you see. Damn, that's a pretty that's stone. That mm. <laughs> Real pretty. Very fascinating. Uh, you can see why it why it caught your attention. Um, yeah. That's, uh, that that kind of looks like a skull. It looks like yes. an that looks like an elithid skull. That's kind of cool. I don't think yeah. I've ever seen an elithid skull. That see, is like, an elithid skull. See, the the conceit was like, oh, look, he's distracted by a rock. It's actually an elithid skull, and it looks awesome. So, yeah, I'm not that much of an airhead, guys. You sure? No. <laughs> I mean, I just I just walk through a massive dart thing, so, you know. Don't know, uh, but you are you are able to continue uh, onwards. Uh, you do not find or trigger uh, any other traps as y'all make your way further downwards. Uh, you continue making your way through this cavern. It is getting lower and lower down. Um, the transition from cavern to underdark is there isn't like a moment. It just slowly becomes the underdark where things are strange and where Lee many, many episodes ago said it is almost a, a mirror world of uh, the, the uh, above ground. And uh, there's strange funguses. There's uh, weird uh, lichen gently glowing in the corner and uh, always and ever the, the persistent dripping of water off in the distance. Uh, uh, canonically, a lot of the Underdark is bathed in about the same color light as Athora's skin. So yeah. <laughs> she's, she, she blends in a bit at, a, <laughs> at certain <laughs> points. My bright yellow hair uh, stands out. Just yeah, there's bright yellow hair and the armor, but her skin is completely invisible at points when she walks past bright lights. <laughs> that, is, that is absolutely correct. <laughs> so Dix turns around and uh, looks at the three uh, travelers and says, Welcome officially to the Underdark. Okay. I like that. And mm. on, that, on that cue, the chanting begins again. And it begins to swell and swell. And I would like everyone to make a uh, willpower saving throw. Yay, willpower! They're having a rave down here. Oh, poor May. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was going to say before this, can, I, can we understand it at all? Uh, well, that depends. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, I rolled a natural 20. Oh. But I got a minus one, so nineteen. Uh, does Wait, it's anyone will? Wait, is it willpower? Will it... Yes, it's willpower. Which in oh, your hang case, on. you have a fifteen, so you have a good willpower yeah. saving throw. I rolled a six. I have a sixteen. Sixteen. So. Okay. And Tix? Uh, Tix has a twenty-five. <laughs> Ooh, I got a twenty-four. Nice. Not bad. Twenty-two. Not bad at all. 22. Okay. Um, does anyone here speak deep speech? Uh, no. Yes, technically, you did. Yeah. Technically, May does understand deep speech. Okay. Mm. Uh, and you hear that strange uh, trilling, gurgling. Uh, it is a it is a strange manner, and, and you know that you're not catching all of it because uh, some of deep speech is actually smells and body language. It oh. is such a, a strange and, and uh, alien form of speech, but you can understand the weird gurgling noises uh, made by these creatures, uh, and it is. Mm -hmm. Side note: from the last time we had to feed my little friend. Do I still understand the deep speech? Uh, well, you you understand uh, Terran. Your little okay. friend speaks Terran. Mm -hmm. All right. So you you understand Terran. Got it. Um, but uh, yes. So just FYI. 
uh, we may be revealing something slightly out of order, but if it's okay, it's okay if we are. It's fine. Um, so you can actually hear uh, May, the voice. It is. It is a, a part of it. Is a call. It is saying, "Come, come, come. We who would bring about the next age. We." Who will and even even in this chant, even in this like you know sacred chant, you can hear a little bit of sarcasm in it. Of <laughs> you can hear, sir, the master. We offer this mighty gift. Is what you hear. Hmm. I will. I will, May will just start saying it in common, like as we're listening to the chanting, she would just like instinctively start just translating it out loud. Okay. Uh, And it is, uh, everyone who hears it is a very unpleasant sound. It is, it just kind of eats at your brain, almost like a psychic attack. Um, And the... The area that you're in goes down below further, and you all can see a uh, a circle, a stone circle, and surrounding that stone circle, uh, there is a uh, group of five mind flayers. Not not vampires, uh, but mind flayers, and they are. Um, doing a ritual, uh, very clearly doing a ritual. None of you are particular. If, uh, deep spellcasters, uh, but uh, in the center is a weapon, and this is where the dungeon master has to um, admit his ignorance because I don't actually know how to properly pronounce. It's a, a, a French word, um, which uh, is main gauche. That's pretty That's much like it. Main gauche. Okay, main I, gauche. I knew that I was yeah. close on gauche. Let's okay. Put it into. Uh, but uh, put that in the old uh, Google of Fire. Pronunciation. Like. Probably main gauche. Gauche, yes. It's a very particular type of um, uh, what we would think of as a Renaissance sword. And it's very... Main gauche. Like that. Um, yeah. Of uh, all of you, uh, Thora, because you have been trained in all of the martial weapons in to some extent. Uh, it is a, a, a finesse weapon, a weapon that you would use if you were in a duel. It's French for left uh, hand. There you go. No, yeah, All right. no, there you go. Um, but it's oh, a, it, yeah. you can tell that it is, uh, even from here, all of you can tell this is a very magical item. Um, and they are a spell casting on it. Probably um, interrupt this. That would be a good idea. <sighs> Uh, May will take. I'm. I'm assuming May still has her loot with her. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I all everything that was right next to you got sucked in with you. Yeah. So she's going to um, like put her back against the wall to the to the entrance and just like pull her loot out and take a deep sigh, like oh. When will these tentacles end? Mm. Are you tr- really trying to get more free stuff? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> so that's that's really good. I think, I think Rain. I think Rain would be looking at her and going, and 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 uh, and Father and just kind of a, a wry smile will pass, <laughs> and, and, and he'll nod and go, "Yeah, really." <laughs> really? <laughs> he smiled. So while they're trying to figure out what's going on, Tix is going to cast uh, protection from evil and divine favor on himself. Okay. Uh, you absolutely can do those right now. Uh, is there anything anyone else would like to do before things get real? Uh, Rain will... Okay, is there any any way for Rain to sneak? Can I identify a primary spellcaster? Like a lead art type? Absolutely, I, they're, they're, uh, the the Alithid are very ostentatious in their robbery, and one of them is far more ostentatious than the other. 
than the others. Is there a, a way for Rain to sneak behind said ostentatious, illithid, tentacle-faced man? I will say yes. Uh, they are very focused on the spell. Uh, the main danger is that they are all in a you know five-star circle-ish kind of thing. So really, it's more it's less about him seeing you and more about the other one across the way seeing you. Mm-hmm. Uh, but um, you absolutely can. I will give it a shot then. Um, I'll also uh, indicate to Father to possibly do the same on the other side of the room. Yeah. I'm, okay. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to uh, stealth around a bit and kind of get my little William Snake spear guy. He's usually like a like a golden snake coiled around uh, my my right hand, actually, uh, my right arm, um, and kind of get him to assume uh, the position of a spear so I can kind of throw that into the middle of everything and maybe cause a little bit of chaos if I roll well. That's- that's so if six on the stealth roll, if Tix okay. provided a distraction, would that help everybody? Uh, if Tix, do if their... Tix is willing to do an, a distraction, uh, with the exception of someone rolls a one, uh, everyone will succeed on their stealth roll or on their surprise attack. Okay, so Tix then goes ahead and casts a third spell, Sanctuary, mm-hmm. and then walks out into the middle and says. Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> I, just... I love it. I absolutely love it. It's um, half of the course for Tiggs, yeah. May's jaw is just on the floor like, what? <laughs> what? 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 She's not jamming I mean, out yet. Uh, I guess May might even start walking in the bar. I did. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, what's I know. You know, I'm just, I'm just going with it. Uh, I mean, if the, is this what we're doing to, now? To be, f- to be fair, I feel like with May, if the little man dressed in armor wanders out freely into the middle of the of the room, I feel like May would be like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. Yeah, yeah. May's not very smart. <laughs> uh, so, um. Um, this is what happens. <laughs> yep, this is amazing. I love. I love all of this. I love all of this. Uh, uh, Tix just walks right out towards the stone circle uh, with the the sword laying in the center. The five uh, robed mind flayers uh, uh, doing this ritual. When suddenly uh, Tix walks out and they <laughs> stop and they turn and look at him and. One of them ticks, uh, just fires a blast, a mind blast at you, directly at you. Uh, and tell everyone how much damage you take. Absolutely none of it. <laughs> That's right, because you have a sanctuary spell on. Uh, and protection you. from evil, which protects me from mental attacks. Uh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Uh, so he is utterly foiled. Um, and is a little unsettled by this. Um, mind flayers are not used to being caught off guard. And, um, uh, I would like to know what, um, uh, Sideways Rain is doing. Uh, he'll take immediate advantage of this and <laughs> attempt to belt the crap out of the, uh, out of the leader. Okay. So, roll to hit. Oof. You'd be caught flat-footed, I'd hoped. Uh, so, well, yeah. Absolutely. 17? 17 is going to hit for flat-footed. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll just do a, uh, I'll do a sweep. Try and knock him off his feet. Okay. Six. Full uh, six points. Uh, wait, sorry, no, ten. Full ten. Ten points of damage. Uh, yep. Is y'all, y'all just see uh, this this slightly furry form coming up from behind him, and then just suddenly drop, and the leg whoosh, goes out, and this 
you know, like r slightly writhing tentacles on his face uh, form, little skull on his belt, you know, just suddenly, ah! <laughs> just bam, <laughs> into the ground uh, as he takes uh, 10 points of damage. Um, and uh, what, uh, it, it, we're not in uh, initiative yet, so uh, who would like to do something next? Um, so I'm, I'm going to roll with, with what May would do. And she's just kind of seen ticks walk out and just be like, Hey, what's up guys? <laughs> so she's like, all right. She's just going to walk out and, um, she's going to strum her lute and sing a song. Okay. <laughs> so I, I do have a song prepared. <laughs> oh God. I, I know. cannot wait. Your life is your life, somewhere there is light, the gods await to delight in you. It beats the darkness, you are marvellous, who's pretending to be who? Just do it, nothing is impossible, just do it, yesterday you said tomorrow, just do it, don't let your dreams be dreams. The more often you do it, the more light there will be. And she casts Mental of Inspiration. So now everybody has eight temporary hit points. Beautiful. Yay! <laughs> There's no way you can't clap for that. <laughs> uh, that was really well done. That was really well done. Fantastic. <laughs> Beautiful work. Um, now, each creature can also now immediately use its reactions to move its speed without provoking attack of opportunities. Nice. So nice. everybody uh, can so rush in if they wish. <laughs> you all, you all feel the air that, like, as they were. It, it, it's weird because uh, elithids aren't real big on spell casting. This is this is something adjacent to spell casting that they're doing. Um, it's it's uh, strange. But it the what the, that chant that they were doing in that far speed and this that they were chanting is is just filling this cavern with dread and darkness and promises of of death in the void of space, and then suddenly you just hear this bring comes <laughs> up and just everything feels lighter and you all feel better and you feel like you could do anything as you you. Uh, most of you have never experienced uh, temporary hit points, so the the other players, and uh, it, it just fills your heart with joy, oh. and you feel like you are just ready to take on the world. Uh, Athora, what would you like to do? I draw my sword and attack the nearest one. Okay, uh, roll for that and give me both of those rolls. First one is an eleven to hit. Okay, that will not hit, unfortunately. <laughs> This one's a ten to hit. <laughs> oh dear! Uh, yeah, he he mm. uh, he he is uh, a, a wily one, and is like uh, 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 moving out of the way and knocking your sword out of the way with his his weird tentacles. Can, can I use my inspiration um, to fix that? You absolutely can. Awesome. Uh, Reroll. Reroll both of those. Both. Okay. I'm saying so. This uh, time. seventeen to hit. Inspiration's a big deal. That okay, will hit. Great. Let me get the damage. 16 points of damage. Okay. And second attack. Natural one. Natural one. All right. Get out those uh, percentage die. Oh, the famous percentage die we have on Chafing Armor and give us a roll. Okay. Let us know what this it is. This is not me this time. And it's just the percentage. Okay. Yeah. So that's a 50. Okay, nothing happens. Awesome. You just miss. Uh, just, <laughs> uh, yeah. Which is what happens most of the time, uh, is you just miss on the second one. But with that inspiration point, and, I, and I'm proud of you for using your inspiration point, uh, please use those because uh, I, I like to give them away freely. Um, you uh, slice into the arm of this creature, and you actually see like the arm like come off a little bit as you really dig into it, mm. and it... The, the shriek that it makes is horrifying. Uh, and Fava, what would you like to do? Um, well, would I maybe be able to locate someone that isn't within 15 feet radius of any of my compatriots? That would be convenient uh, for me, but probably I can't. 
How 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 many feet? Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. I will say there is one you could. Cool. I'm gonna aim for him, or her, okay. or them. They're genderless. It's fine. Uh, with uh, my out of strife as a spear. Okay. Uh, so I'll just do a little rolly roll. Ooh, that is plus attack bonus. 12. Uh, unfortunately, that will not hit. Um, Damn it. <laughs> as it goes and kings by, as you, you're, you're bracing up for this amazing uh, attack, and it just bink, bounces off the uh, yeah. stone of the uh, ritual. Uh, okay. And let's see. I... Okay. It's okay, Will. Come on, come on back. He's like slithering uh-huh. sort of in my dir- direction. Okay. Did I miss spear becomes a, his spear becomes a snake and returns to you. Yeah. Ah, very good. William Snake Spear. <laughs> it's in the name. Does it's, it's, it's right? It's on the tin. Does Tix get an attack? Uh, no, that's that. That was what I said. Okay. Is, is if you are willing to do this distraction, then everybody else would succeed. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. Um. Um. It is now the Elithid's turn. Uh, oh. And they, um, uh, the leader who's pulling himself up off the ground, uh, and in fact, uh, I would like you to get an attack of opportunity, uh, uh, Rain. Okay. I mean, they should... Me... Get him. He should at least be down for a round, so... Right, well, he's standing back up, which, yep. uh, if yeah. he stands up right next to you, that yep. is an attack uh... of opportunity. 19. That's going to hit. Uh, I'm going to use... I'm going to use my tonfa. Okay. And I'm going to belt the crap out of him. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, 10 points of damage. Already, as you just crack him across the skull uh, as the tonfa uh, spins and you uh, put your, your arm behind it uh, and he staggers back and he cries out something um in uh deep speech and um you uh may understand it Uh uh, as as he says um let it deal with them it's not worth it and uh each of them in turn casts a um natural ability as they step through the shadows however uh i now unfortunately since you already had an attack of opportunity you can't get two um but um i would like uh athora to get an attack of opportunity against the one that was nearest you awesome okay 16 to hit 8. That will hit. And actually, Tix, you would also get one against this one. Oh, okay. They are both within range of you. 12 points. That is a 19 with Destiny Seeker. Okay. So that's a critical. Uh, Yep. So, uh, Thora, it's just one attack, but give me your damage, Thora. I said 12 points of damage. 12. Perfect. And then uh, give me that critical hit. Me? No. Oh, no. uh, uh, Tix. That's 21 points of damage. Okay. Uh, so uh, I, I want y'all all to imagine uh, all of these characters just kind of like rend the, the, the very shadow in front of them and they just kind of step right into it. Um, and they are gone. Like they just whoop, disappear. But Athora and Tix, seeing this happen as he starts to do it right in your thing, you slash into that arm again and that arm comes off like it falls to the ground Athora as you slash into him awesome. and he staggers even as he's starting to step into that shadow Destiny Seeker comes and catches him right in the gut and you actually see the like the necrotic damage just kind of into him and he dies and he actually is cut not it's not that pretty it's not half but like a fourth of his body is just sliced right into that teleportation type spell as he dies. And it is very, 
messy <laughs> as it just <laughs> to the ground uh, as y'all killed a mind flayer. Um, because uh, he was a junior mind flayer, he wasn't quite as powerful <laughs> as some of the other ones. But uh, yeah, you still intern. you still straight up killed a mind flayer, um, and that's when you hear a rumbling. You hear a rumbling sound, um, and uh, from below in the caverns, the uh, rocks begin to shake and split and break open. And out of it comes a creature. Now, um, the Kinku could have told you, who's not here right now, that there was a rumor that this strange cult out of Zintel Keep had actually killed a dragon. Now, that was only partially true. What was actually true is they had subdued a dragon. And that <sighs> they had given it over to the Mind Flayers. Uh oh! And uh. out of the ground, uh, almost as if it has the uh, Terran-like abilities, uh, comes breaking out a dragon that has been infected by a mind. No. And I need it. And I need everyone no. to roll for initiative. I need everyone to roll for initiative. Oh. A dragon in our Dungeons and Dragons game? When does this happen? Well, in a dungeon? Dragon in like a dungeon? It's more likely than you think. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. On. On. Sorry. Oh, yeah. okay. Bleep that bottom. out. Don't worry. Easy said worse. Yeah, we, it's PG-13. We're allowed to have a few swears. Yeah. Uh, so, Fava, what was that? Uh, 21. 21 for Fava and uh, Sideways Rain. So. Also 21. Also 21 mm. for Sideways Rain. And for uh, May? Five. Five for May. <laughs> oh. And uh, Athora. 19. 19. Ooh, good rolls here. Oh, you always have had really good initiative. And uh, Tix? Seven. Seven. Uh, you were you were you were wiping the gore of this uh, uh, cut in twain uh, mind flare, so it kind of threw you off a little bit. Um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, May's just like, like fixing story. her strings. Uh, but as good as you all did, uh, the infected dragon rolled a twenty-five. Uh, it is now, a dragon after all. Now uh, I do want y'all to know this is not a full adult dragon. But it is still It's a, a dragon. junior dragon. Yes, it is still very much a dragon. Um, does anyone... Fun fun uh, uh, trivia. Does anyone happen to know the name of a dragon that's been infected by a mind flare? Dragon oh, infected by a mind flare. It's like Bad a dragon. A dragon lithid or something? Illithid dragons? Uh, they, they are actually known as brain stealers. <laughs> Okay. Oh, father safe. Seems pleasant. Uh, father safe. That... <laughs> There's the what? first attack. Second attack. Third. Okay. Oh, okay. It's, a little it's, just, it's, it's, it's got six attacks. Don't worry about it. Okay, so uh, a Thora, mm -hmm. one of its claws catches you. Uh, it comes slashing in with its its tentacles, and its teeth are underneath the tentacles. It's still a dragon. And it snaps, and then one claw, and then the other claw catches you. Um, and you take... Um, I had to scale back the uh, damage a little bit because it is not a full adult. Uh, which I assume y'all will appreciate. Yes. So it only does 65 damage. That's right. <laughs> um, so that is 19 points of damage. As it slams into you, uh, Athora, uh -huh. and sends Rem you sprawling across the room. Okay. Uh, Remembering you have eight extra hit points, so... Ah, very good. <laughs> Make sure. And you, you're really glad you have those. So subtract that eight from the 19 for a, a total of uh, 11. Uh, 11 uh, because I occasionally forget how to do math. And um, it is uh, swinging back around, uh, and it is actually trying to hit you, Tix. Because uh, you were closest, y'all. It, it, it kind of zeroed in on the kill. Um, ooh, that is a, that is definitely going to hit because that's a 19 plus its bonuses. 
Uh, and that is its tail slap. What what so. size class is it? Because doesn't ticks get a bonus uh, to uh, yes, logic? Yes, he does. But unfortunately, it's not going to help with this particular one. Because okay. he rolled a nineteen, he rolled a nineteen, and on top of those bonuses, uh, you actually got off a little easier on this one. Takes it did eleven points of damage. Okay, does he count as uh, a giant creature? He does. Okay, so that would put my armor class against him at twenty four. Oh, so it would beat him, yeah. All right. Because I cast protection from evil. And, oh yes, you did cast. And, well, no, you also cast. You also cast sanctuary. Yeah, oh, but God. the sanctuary to... sanctuary was negated when I attacked. Ah, uh, yes, yes, very so, true. But uh, protection from evil. Yeah, protection from evil plus four against giant creatures. So that puts me at twenty four. Gotcha. Uh, so this tail is coming down, and uh, this is a. Uh, they are always lawful evil. Fun fact. Uh, as uh, the the you feel that vroom from Garl Glittergold uh, suffuse you on top of this inspirational song from May, uh, the two working together, uh, you are able to move just a little bit faster, go just a little bit harder, and you move just to the side as this tail boom, and the ground cracks, and actually the stone um, circle that the stone table circle type thing actually cracks, but you see that the um, sword itself does not move. And that will bring it to... Uh, I'm going to say Fava, because I wrote down first, as opposed to uh, Sideways. I think, he's, I think he's dexterity higher than mine, anyway. Uh, well, my dexterity is plus two. Alright, mine is, but go ahead. Alright, well, that's that's fine. Uh, it, it, it's all good. So, Fava, go ahead and go. Um, okay, so we're attacking this thing, right? We're not going to have a conversation with it, I guess. Um, okay. Wait, can I use Moonbeam Underground? Question for the DM. Uh, yeah, I will allow it. Dope. I'm a do. Moonbeam. Moon Prism Power! Nice! <laughs> you beat me to it! <laughs> That was that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, so I'm Sailor Moon. <laughs> Fire in my laser. Fire in my laser. <laughs> yep. I'm going to do that. So, uh, silvery vampire, five foot radius, forty foot cylinder, centered on a point within range. Uh, so it has to do a Constitution saving throw. It takes two d10 radiant damage on a fail save, or half as much on a successful one. So this guy has a badass uh, constitution saving throw, but he also rolled a three, so he failed. Oops. Oh. Oops. Uh, so, two, wait, no, that's a 12. Damn it, I, I shouldn't have said that. I should just let it ride. Mm. Five, nine. Uh, nine. Nine y'all radiant just see, damage. Uh, you hold up your hand and just, mm. you see this moonbeam come down and uh, by the way, it does not care for the light at all. Uh, it does not Uh-oh. do extra damage. It does not do extra damage, but it does not care oh. for it. It, it. it shies and rears away um, as you do that nine points of damage to it. Uh, and that was the first damage against it, so good good start on that. And now sideways range. You're welcome. Uh, hmm. Dragons, dragons, dragons. Dragon, dragon, dragon. Um, I, 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 I guess I'm just going to hit it. <laughs> There's not really much else I can do. I'm a little upset that my uh, my key stuff doesn't work here, but so be it. Um, yeah. What I'm are you going gonna... to hit it with? Um... I'm gonna hit it with. I hit it with my claws. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use flurry again. Never mind. I rolled a one. 
Let's get that percentage dice roll. Let's hope we don't have any high. <gasps> oh, no, 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 please no. Please no. Does it need to be high or low? Uh, it needs to not be a 95 uh, or, or above. Or above. Okay. A 90 is also not good, but nice 95 and above is very You guys bad. know what my dice do, right? Give us something. hundred. <laughs> you're are you oh, no, it's zero. Not, it's it's zero. zero. It's not, zero. I'm Just not kidding. Zero. It's Guys. three. Oh. It's it's three zeros. We tried to make it too low and we failed. Oh my god. It's a hundred. So, uh, so my my nice rule is that uh, rolling anything under a ninety is just a miss. Ninety to ninety four is you lose a turn. 95 to 100 is increasingly bad things happen. Uh, for a, for an NPC or a villain, 100 essentially means instant death. Uh, but for a playing character, what it means is the worst possible thing happens. And for this, it means that you run up and as you are just slice, 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 just as you do, you feel these enormous tentacles wrap around you and you are now grabbed um let me be very clear that you do not want to be grabbed for very long with a brain stealer um you gonna steal it, my brain the the name the name says it all uh you will there isn't a lot to steal though uh, you will also take. Uh, oh, it's that's not too bad. Uh, six points of damage from the grab. That's not too bad at all. Yeah, six points of damage. No, considering uh, since it's technically from one tentacle, but you are now grabbed. Um, yeah. So that will bring it to Athora. Uh, you see hmm. this uh, Tabaxi monk uh, run up and and just cool is, is all get out and then vroom, bring up and you you've seen this in animals before that motion of bringing the prey to the mouth of what's happening um i'm gonna roll to attack and okay. 16 to hit again uh that will actually will. hit oh yeah well because uh as i said it is not a uh, fully mature dragon okay Fourteen points of damage for first attack. And okay, fourteen. Seventeen to attack. Uh, that will hit. And twelve points of damage. Oh, so in short order, you just run right up to the base of this dragon, where it's uh, giant, monstrous claws coming down. Um, and just slash, slash with your longsword. Uh, Y'all have combined already done 55 points of damage, which instantly killed the other k uh, creatures you were fighting. But this is, at the end of the day, a dragon. <laughs> um, and that will, but that was a really good hit. Uh, and that will bring it to Tix. So Tix, being standing next right to him, uh, will place hands on... Uh, the creature's side uh, or leg, whatever he can reach, and cast uh, Inflict uh, Critical Wounds. And that is a 27 to hit. That will definitely hit. And so that is 48. So that... Uh, Four plus uh, that is thirty-one points of damage. Thirty-one points of damage. Wow. Uh, necrotic damage. Necrotic damage. And just double checking, it has no resistance against necrotic damage. As y'all just see this tiny little figure, just boop, 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 right up, and just both hands right on the side as he whispers a prayer to Garl Glittergold of condemnation against this aberration. Uh, and y'all see the necrotic damage just <laughs> spread up the side and uh, just 
parts of its flesh just sloth off and revealing muscle and bone underneath as uh, this is a devastating attack. I mean, you would literally have incinerated a normal human uh, or anything like it uh, with that type of attack. But again, it's a dragon. Uh, but that is still a, an enormous amount of damage that you've done. And it shrieks and, and flails back. Uh, and that will bring it to May. Um, is Rain still in the grasp of the dragon? He absolutely is. <sighs> May's going to... Uh, she has a loot, a very, very special loot. And um, she's going to play a specific chord progression. And as she mm -hmm. does, three darts of magical energy throw out um, to the tentacle that is holding Sideways Rain. As she casts a magic missile from the loot, because it's cool. <laughs> it's an Why electric not? loot. Very cool. <laughs> she well, has a trick were, loot, yes. You were, you were warning about... Um, uh, voltage earlier, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, as we know, that always hits, so. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so it's 3d4 plus. So, I rolled a 1, a 4, and a 1. So, 9 total magical voltage damage. <laughs> voltage. Uh, as, as, as we call it, we we're all French here. <laughs> voltage <laughs> damage. The voltage damage. And, um, yeah. The man. Omelette du voltage. The man Just, gauche. And you know she's like very like rock and roll play. style with her loot. Oh yeah, I, I want y'all to imagine she's just rocking out, and as she as she finishes the last lick, she that that end of the loot kicks up and just boom boom boom, they come right out and sink into. Sink into that those places where uh, ticks had touched it, and it just shrieks and wails and flails uh, about. Uh, it has never been damaged like this before. It is also very, very upset and is going to blast you all with a mind Aww. blast. No. And so I need all of you to make a willpower saving throw. Uh... <laughs> Anything but that. Not a wisdom, a will. Keep that in mind. Which is based on, which is based on wisdom, Zoomy. Yeah. Uh, okay, whatever. 18. I got a 27. I'm good. Jax is immune. You are. So I just, sorry, I just want to check, because of my, if you just look on Discord, sorry. So I just add that number to my roll? Yes. Yep, okay. you roll, add so, your 12 to your roll. So, 21. I rolled a 9. Nice. Ah, uh, that's a 30 for rain. No biggie. I rolled a 15, and I will say it was 15, so... Perfect. Uh, you uh, you all, all just feel this... Boom go through the room, and even though this is a psychic attack, like, you, you actually see, like, little bits from the, the cavern ceiling uh filter down it's just the shock of this attack go through but it does not harm you um and that unfortunately is not the end of its attacks uh it is it very farted. mad at you it is very mad at you ticks um oh no i'm sorry but it is not attacking you ticks because uh it realizes that you have protection um was wow Wow. Uh, so, uh, Athora, I want you to describe to me how you managed to avoid the, both the teeth and both claws <laughs> from a dragon as it rolls a three and two eights. Wow. wow. <laughs> Good effort. It, it went hardcore on Athora, and Athora was just like, zip, zip, zip. Can't touch this. <laughs> She does she the, starts uh, moonwalking. She does the hammer. She does so the hammer. To she's doing the brain starts melting. <laughs> she's doing the hammer crab dance. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I 
We killed her. <laughs> I, I, I think we I think we killed her again. We break her. I think she's just imagining her character doing that crab walk dance. <laughs> we may never get her back now. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay. Um. And <clears throat> I, in my full armor and with my giant sword still on my hand, I use my tail and my amazing reflexes to just backflip full on gymnastic star out of the way. And it's just spectacular, and I feel like showing off, and I flip my hair at the end, just feeling proud of myself. <laughs> I'm sure that uh, May, with a with a flair for the dramatic, approves. <laughs> mm, uh, I was going to say, she has, like, anime <laughs> eyes at her. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, uh, this, this dragon is like, ooh, we're puppy, and does psychic damage. Uh, so, <laughs> let me see, make sure I've got this right. Okay, so this would technically be the second, uh, that other one would count as a round, yeah. So this is the second round. It is going to, uh, the good news is it's not using its tail attack, so that's nice. Um, oh. but it gets, well, it doesn't need advantage because it rolled a 19. Uh, so it is, um, crushing the life out of you, um, uh, sideways rain. Oh boy. Mm. Uh, sure that, that's good. Ooh, that's a impressive knot of ones. Um, so that's, so it actually only does, only does 12 points of damage. Okay. Uh, so that actually... Considering that you are literally entangled by a giant uh, uh, illithid dragon that is crushing the life out of you, uh, it, that's okay. actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good, um, and that will actually bring it to uh, Fava. Okay, so um, I still got my moonbeam up, but I can move it. Is it? Is it probably fudging it a bit if I was like, can I move it to a way that it's, you know, maybe like trying to burn away some of the tentacles? Or is that just like cheesing it way too much? Well, you mean, are you trying to attack it in such a way to make it let him go? Yeah. Um, Roll of call, call, Sammy. We we work on roll of call. Yeah, I I will absolutely allow you to try that if you want. Yes. Okay. Uh, Well, I will do that. Don't know if I have to, if I have to like roll to make sure that I don't like hit anyone. <laughs> Just uh, roll away. It's it, it, the roll will determine what happens. Oh yeah. Well, uh, I mean, it should still be the same thing of like uh, Constitution saving throw. The the brain still has to do a Constitution saving throw. Oh, I apologize. I misunderstood yeah. what you were saying. Okay. Um, yeah, it rolled a 17, so it succeeds. Okay, so it only gets half. Uh, so I'll roll 2d10. 7, 16, so that's 8. Damn, eight that was a good damage. roll to have still halved. Yeah, that's still a good damage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As you, uh, what, what does that look like when you do that? So essentially, like, I'm kind of concentrating and I'm just kind of, like moving it like a little bit more forward and like a little bit to the side you know kind of having having the whole kind of magic hands going all kind of cool like it's like i'm trying to to you know like move it to to where i need it and then it does that but like the brain stealer is doing okay i guess maybe i don't know that's more your department Mm mm-hmm uh, it is not doing okay. Uh, y'all have done an incredible amount of damage to it, uh, and y'all are just tearing into it. Uh, and it is it is shrieking and writhing, uh, and I'm going to need to make it have a roll. It rolls a five. You are successful, and um, you drop to the ground um, sideways rain. 
Oof. as as it Oof. slams in uh, to that one particular point. Cheers, uh, Fava. Appreciate that. It's okay. And maybe back sideways, get a little distance. Uh, sideways, rain. It is now your turn. You were now uh, right below the dragon. Uh, right below the dragon. Okay. I mean, can I? F- yeah. Is it? Is is there a weak point I can try to hit? I might as well take advantage of this if I can. Otherwise, I'm I'm getting the hell out of dodge. Uh, well, there is there is the very large wound caused by ticks, which uh, was then uh, May then fired missiles into. So All right. yes, uh, let's l- let's uh, let's go elbow deep into that wound. Okay. <laughs> or waste waste deep delicious. with my with with a kick. Um, Ew. That's the floor. Where do we go? Apologies. <laughs> Can rummage around in there for a little bit. <laughs> I really need to like find a different seating position for my. There it is. I'm sitting in the corner of my desk because it's an L-shaped desk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it tends to slip into the. There we go. Get a dice tray. That's a nat 20. All right. Uh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Uh, uh, let's let's see that damage from, from Mr. Monkey Boy. And sadly, Mr. it's Monkey only Boy. D6, but... Cat Boy. Uh, yes. So we are using claws again. So that is a 10, so that's 20. 20? Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Y'all have heard it really badly, uh, guys. Hmm. Uh, you are, are really slamming. Oh, that's that that that's that's also doubled because it was flurried. Oh, okay, uh, so double that. So it's just yep. So forty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, you your leg disappears into it, and then uh, somehow you manage to uh, instead of a second attack, really, what you actually do is rip out as you bring oh. your leg back out and you just see like like just just bits of muscle just uh, against the wall uh, behind you and oh that the hurts sheer for- <laughs> the sheer force of I'm this. in pain <laughs> ew um, Wash it. everyone's just covered the, everyone's just covered in blood and the, guts the dragon actually staggers right. uh, downwards and that will bring it to you Athora awesome let's hit it again <laughs> Do it. Do it. That's an 18 to hit. That will hit. Sixteen points of damage. Okay, Athora. <laughs> please describe to me how you kill this brain stealer young juvenile uh dragon. Uh, who had 150 hit points. Uh, where where was I standing closest to? What part of it? Does it matter? Uh, well, it's staggered downwards, so its its head is actually in range. Uh, uh, the, the neck kind of lowered down as it, as it uh, staggered downwards from the wound. Then with my sword, I take my sword and I slice it comp- down the center and the force of it just severs the head entirely leaving a nice clean cut and you Athora as you do this uh, the the wound actually kind of ices over like I, I don't I'm not saying the entire dragon turns to ice or anything but as you slice through like you see like the edges of the wound just kind of cover in hoar frost for a moment uh, as you just go through uh, but it is your natural strength and prowess that actually severs the head from the body as it boom lands to the ground and is dead awesome and um all that is left is a broken uh stone circle and a sword lying upon it a man help, goes. help me cut the choice meats Help me cut the choice meats. Oh uh, yeah, you want you want the good stuff. <laughs> uh, that said, I uh, um, rain will actually take some flesh from. Does the dragon still have wings? 
it does they are they are um somewhat uh atrophied uh brain stealer wings are extremely weak compared to a normal dragon's wings it can fly but it flies very badly i would like uh, to take so. some of, i would like to take a four foot by four foot square of wing leather and cut okay. it out I, and then i will put I will it on my person you, i will not make you fight for that or you know roll for that just there's so much because there's so much of it uh mm. even with it atrophied there's easily four feet by four feet yep uh well, as you boom, boom, boom. take that with me okay. and a file of does is it still a file of blood or whatever passes for blood for this thing yeah it is it is unpleasant blood but it's still blood I will take uh, a file of that with me. Okay. Um, and, then, and, and clap a Thora on the back. Nice kill. <laughs> okay. Well, that was the thing. Yep, that was exciting. <laughs> Can we go home now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like I feel like the three of us would be just sitting here like. I kind of I kind of miss the zom- the, the zombie squirrels, guys. <laughs> the zombie squirrels. What? Chipmunks. 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 Think about oh, that's that that's ro- think yeah, about that was rotting <laughs> chipmunks crawling all over you. Yeah, that's, that's what we good. deal with. I'd rather not. Good times, good times. That's coming up. Oh no, y'all did. Y'all did already have this adventure. Sorry. Yeah, no, I, I was mixing up my characters again. I'm try, I was trying to remember something we'd fought with. Uh, I miss. I miss the uh, the harpies. That's right. I kind of miss the harpies, guys. <laughs> you remember that one time with the harpy yeah. and yep. <laughs> made it laugh so hard it fell and off it the ate. cliff. Yeah, ah, yeah. Yep. that was so good. And then it ate the horse. Oh wait, that was a yeah. different time. Yeah, uh, we and go then, now. And then, like, and, what? Then, and, then, and then, and then, father threw a spear over a cliff. Yeah, it was good times. Okay, Get so back. Tix is going to go examine the sword. Okay, and it is of extraordinary make. Uh, it is a fine weapon. It is absolutely magical. There's not. You don't even need to examine. You know, do a roll or anything. Um, and it is. Um, it does have um, script on it that is in Abyssal. I can read Abyssal. I can Who's read that? Abyssal. Oh, uh, Abyssal. Yeah. Thora? Yeah. I go over and read it. What does it say? Um, if you can tell. This, yeah. <laughs> this belongs to James. <laughs> <laughs> this sword belongs to Jim. <laughs> Property of Jerry. Do not touch. Yeah. Danger. High voltage. <laughs> uh, so obvious. Um, it, uh, it translates roughly to English or, you know, to common as uh, freezing death. Awesome. Well, anyway. What does it I'm say? I'm going to there. Or a Thora. Oh. Freezing. A freezing death, right? Yeah. Freezing, freezing death. death. Yes. Like fun. Is it cursed? Sounds like... Or can you do a check like that? If it's bad if we touch it or wield it? Would something happen? Uh, someone someone can try if they want to. Uh, uh, I'll do a, a arcana check. Not it. Okay. Roll that for me. That is a 16. Okay. Uh, you don't think that it, like, if you touch it, it will suck out your soul or something? You're not 100% sure on that. Uh, but you do think some kind of powerful protection has been put on the sword. All right. Um, hmm. I pick it Tix up. Will... May, may, do you, you're a bard. Does this... Uh... Does this look familiar to you? Have you heard any stories about this thing? I mean, we, 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 we've, we've seen a lot of stuff. Maybe this is from where we're from. Who knows? Could be worth a look anyway. All right. I can, yeah, I can have a look. See if anything okay. true is your bardic knowledge. Go for it. That'd be like a 
Just, a, just, roll, the, or... just roll D20. Okay. Ah, natural 20. <laughs> natural 20. Okay. Mm. There you go. Uh, so you, a long time ago, when you were traveling, heard of a spell that was so powerful, it... Uh, imagine someone, imagine a, a, a god, you know, in their in their full form, picking up a mountain and throwing it at an object. The object would be unmoved. That is how powerful the spell of protection is. It simply, Ooh. it simply is this: is that there is nothing in this world that can move this sword. Uh, That's a bummer. But we're not yeah, of this I'm, world. I'm just, I'm just gonna uh. walk up to it and just be like, uh, I think I've seen something like this before. It's like, and then I'll just kind of like play around with it. Like you can't pick it up. You can't pick it up. See, look, you can't pick it up. Uh, so are you, are <laughs> you, you know? going to try? To, are you going to try to pick it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just play with it okay. and just p- prove a point. Right. Uh, you reach down and and you do feel like a like a just a whoom go through your body when you touch it but it mm-hmm. picks right up it picks right up and i like look you can't pick it up you can't oh <laughs> hmm. uh, huh. I, captain america anybody <laughs> I, I i i put it back down okay <laughs> uh that wasn't meant to happen can All anyone right. else pick it what? up what was meant to happen, May? Rain asks. Well, I've I've seen this kind of spell before. Like you're not supposed to be able to pick it up. That's. Uh, I can you pick it up? Uh, Rain will give it a try. It you pick it up immediately. <laughs> you also feel the little whoom, but it picks right up. Oh. Okay. Well, and, and, and maybe Athora, I'm wrong. Athora, can maybe you I'm wrong. To try and pick it up. It is like trying to pick up the mountain itself. <laughs> it does not. Your your fingers cannot find purchase underneath it. It will not move. It it is like it is. It is like it is part of the stone beneath it. There is there is absolutely no give whatsoever. Sweet. And as you as you touch it though, you actually feel something, and that voice that you saw in the woman's face earlier, um, you hear it, and it says. Bring it to the hut. I can bring them home. The voice is back. It's back. It's telling me <laughs> you gotta pick it up and take it to the hut. I think that's what it said. The voice you gotta is stab back the in hut town. with this. Sh- sh- hold, hold on, hold on. This voice that you heard before on the that face me, of the of of, of s- s- Sint, whatever her name is. Slint. Um, <laughs> slint. That's it. Slint. Slint, yes, um, is back again, telling you we need to take this sword or this 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 dagger back to the hut. And it said it would take them home too. It also said that. Oh, oh, you're so just trying I- to get rid of us. I see. Okay. Oh, so all we have to do is take this magic knife and stab the chicken hut. I don't think we're supposed to go to I'll- back. I- Home. I'll, I'll pick up the the sword again. I'm just gonna let that happen. It is just like a little dagger, right? Isn't like what a man? Yeah, a, a, a man goes. It, it's it's kind of short sword. It's, mm-hmm. it's technically classed as a dagger. You hold it in your left hand and you use it to parry weapons while you yeah hit with the other with like a oh. uh, rapier or something in the other hand. Mm-hmm. Cool. It's a parrying dagger. It's basically what it's for. It has notches in it, so you can catch weapons oh. that are being uh yeah like being swung at you. And then you can hold I it use still. A rapier. And then, yeah, you can hold it and then you can use it to hit people because they can't get their sword back. Yeah, if you use a rapier, that's, that's essentially the idea. If you use a rapier, then you would definitely know the function of this weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Ah. Okay. It's like May stronger and Althora. Mm. <laughs> Rain. Rain's tail switches. Looks at. Uh, um, father and says you know what you go and give it a pickup let's let's see let's let's okay. see if the trend continues okay god i, god, I hope he can't i'll just well i'm amazing. holding it so i'll just give it to him 
I don't would love yeah. if he can't pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work that way. But yeah, yeah. he he uh, mm. he can't pick it up and actually tears his fingers right off. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, he, can, he can pick it up. He can pick it up easily. <laughs> this is so weird. Than a Thora. <laughs> so it appears that it appears that I'm worried. This is either this is of our world. Hmm. Or, or we're, we're just stronger off. than our Thora. I go and pick him up by the scruff of the neck and hold him to where his feet are dangling. Uh, yes, do it. <laughs> do it. I, I, uh, it. It works because he's holding it. It's like, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay. And then, like, when I when I put it down, I, I just go, here, hold this. And then <laughs> <laughs> just immediately just fall to May the will- May like, will jump ha. in front of it and grab it. Aww. Okay, yeah. That's no fun. It, if, if, it, if it got between uh, her and the ground, it would be really bad. Um, mm. So, uh, May, that, that is a very uh, thoughtful and, and good <laughs> thinking on your part. She's just paying her, her back for catching her. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yes, as as our as our mysterious uh, uh, listener said, play hot potato with the enchanted pointy thing. Uh, <laughs> yep. I'm going to sheath the dagger. Okay, it is very sheathable. Excellent. Look at that All right. sheathing. Gun. Now, uh, uh, what, what, I, I wanted what? to check the room. Like, what else is in this room? Can we check out? Um, is there any runes in here? Is there any writing what? or? One more, one more thing. Apologies. Uh, can I snap off a fang from this? Dragon? Oh, you Does bet. It have fangs? Yeah, too? go for it. And no, no, it had a mouth. It had a sa- mouth, uh, and it had a, a I'm, bite uh, attack. I'm, I'm not going to snap it off. I'm actually going to cut a, one of the the largest fangs out of its mouth, like a full extraction, so root and all. Okay, and y'all just hear this and, uh, <laughs> as it comes out, and then just kind of pocket that too, because I mean, dragon stuff is. Good for somebody, surely. Uh, it very well could be. That's going to be up to your dungeon master, uh, leaving, leaving him with all those fun toys. Uh, but <laughs> in the room, there are various etchings that are. Um... Oh wow, that's so good! Sorry, I'm just. Oh wow! It's been sitting yeah. for a couple of minutes. Oh. Been a couple of minutes ago, but it wouldn't load. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, that is. I cannot. So I cannot good. wait to put that on. Uh, the thing, everybody. Yeah, I feel like I, I need I, to make like I, like I, a I, chord I, progression thingy. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna oh, grab those, and uh, when Michael sends through the rest of the other art that we've had done, I'll start putting everything up because that is amazing. That's dope. Anyway, yeah, that is incredible. Uh, sorry. So especially May's face. Holy crap! Uh, so good. Yep. Thank you. No, it is that is just extraordinary. Uh, so um. You, what you see is that there are various runes that are uh, in abyssal, um, and they are various runes of protection. And you think that maybe they went into the casting of this spell, um, mm-hmm. and they you can actually see the 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 name, the freezing death, uh, a few times in this, and that it was perhaps to, um, you know, entrap the uh, sword here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, well, shall we head back? Yay! Is this Four. the only room in this cavern? Um, like, let's go you, stab that. You hut. could try making your way down the hole that the dragon came out of, uh, and you could try wandering your way. The underdark is as big as the surface world, so if y'all kept wandering, you would keep finding things. Uh, probably none of them good. <laughs> May I suggest we don't? <laughs> I prefer that we don't. Yeah, let's, let's get home. Yeah, let's go home. Uh, so let's you make home. your way back up and you see the uh, merchant uh, tied up with three foot of rope. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm assuming that y'all free her. Yes. Yes, Tix mm-hmm. wants his nope. three foot of rope back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, canonically, he has it later on, so we need to make sure he gets I that back. Yeah, this is this is true. This is true. Um, it's all that matters. You make your way back to you make your way back to the hut. The sign is is still in place. It's just leaning a little bit to the side. 
Uh, there's with, a few extra bodies <laughs> lying around. Uh, yeah, exactly. There, there's about 16 dead people who didn't know what voltage meant. Um, and you you actually do see that the the uh, energy field is slowly. It's almost like it's exploding in slow motion. And to be honest, you don't know what would happen if nothing ever yeah. happened to this. Um, but it's there. Uh, Rain, so vol- stab it? R- Rain volunteers because he has uh, something of his that's in there and would probably like to swap it out for this this dagger. It is mine after all. I would like it back. It is important. Okay. Also, I'll, I'm I'll... fairly I'm fairly dexterous. I would hope I'd be able to pull a pull a Indiana Jones. Okay. Unless anybody um, else has any disagreements, I'm fine with that too. Uh I was just gonna like walk up to it and like hold the sword up and be like, You want this? Take me home. But okay. that sounds better. <laughs> <laughs> No, now I want now I want to see May walk up to this big blue bubble just hold out the sword going, take me home, please. <laughs> There's no place like home. No place like home. Yeah, yeah. Tap, tap tap your heels together three times. <laughs> uh, like, so let me know. Let, let's let's hear it. Who's who's going to uh who's gonna do it? And what well, are they gonna do? I'll pull out the sword. I'm gonna pull out the do it. <laughs> she can't hold the dagger. <laughs> I say he should do it. But Stop being. <laughs> he needs to prove. I'm gonna hold it. Yeah. Why don't we all do it together? <laughs> we'll hold hands in a circle. Yeah. Yeah, we all um, put one I'm hand gonna... on the dagger. Friendship just... circle. <laughs> I'm gonna pull the dagger, uh, the the dagger out, and just look at it. Does it react to the bubble? Uh, as you start to get closer to it, you, the bubble starts to kind of, you know starts to hum faster do i feel danger not exactly you feel power but not not yeah. danger per se almost so reflex feel- almost almost yeah. reflexively I'll- uh rain will put a hand on on may's shoulder and screw careful i'll take a step closer okay uh the humming intensifies and uh, you, you actually, you actually, you, you definitely sideways rain. Notice that the um, uh, shard starts spinning faster around the staff of Seraphim. Uh, I will point that out. This something's happening. Ooh. I'm not. I don't know if it's good um, or bad, ooh. but something's happening. I'm gonna turn back to Althora and I'm like, is is has is the voice in your head telling you anything Can now? I stop and listen and look around. No. I, uh, I don't hear anything. Yeah, there, there's, there's nothing. Sorry, it's gone. Cool. It's a free spirit. Uh, I, lovely more yeah, you're having. I guess I'll inch closer, and I like holding the sword out in front of me. Okay. <laughs> like, I just like it? extending my arm as far as it will go, and kind of like wincing. <laughs> you know, Dab like the here you go. <laughs> stab the chicken <laughs> dabbing chicken uh no stab the chicken that we're not stabbing doing? the hut we're not stabbing, we're not the, stabbing hut. the hut i thought that was the point we got this thing so we could stab the hut with it or something no okay fine Let's stab of the hut <laughs> stab of the hut Dumb. yeah so i just inch a bit closer okay um, cool. There's there's that moment. There's that indefinable moment when you have two magnets and you get them closer and closer, and then finally they just oh. boom. That's what happens. Is you're you're that getting closer, hori- and closer. We, we cross the event horizon. Yes, exactly. And then it just boom, and the 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 dagger uh, short sword goes into the bubble, and then there is just white. There's just light and white and heat and. Um, you f- you all feel that unpleasant sensation. You all travel back through the astral plane. You all see again. They're 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 just incredibly busily uh, like like taking notes and doing measurements. You see Rainbow Boy and Bubbles uh, on the uh, ship Volante, <laughs> and then they they're like they're like oh no no it came they came through here and they went through and then they just go over the top and they're like oh 
I guess they're back then. Um, okay. And uh, <laughs> you see figures coming back the other way. Uh, and it, there is one exception, though, is that there is a searing pain uh, in you, uh, Sideways Rain. And that Ooh. is uh, that when means... y'all land and you are all just tumbled back into the t- into tavern. Um, you are all there uh, and you are back and you are safe and you are whole and you have all of your stuff with you. Uh, but there is one little thing is that that staff uh, fragment, or I'm sorry, scepter fragment is actually embedded in your rib cage. Oh, mm. oh no, 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 no. And no, that's no, where no, we'll no, end. No. I, I want it. Chafing. I want it back, but over. not like that. Uh, yes, <laughs> that is the end. Well. Um, and I want. Are you happy? This was uh, easily the longest uh, one we've ever done, but I didn't want to split it up because I didn't because I knew it was so hard to get everybody together. So uh, first, thank you all for playing. Yes, thank you uh, so much for having so, us. It was so much fun. Uh, first, thank you for not killing us. Uh, always glad to do that, Dare. <laughs> uh, thank you for your awesome job, Dare, and thank you, Riley, for your amazing art that will be up on our page. I <gasps> promise. Yay! Sometimes cool. I'm bad about that. Um, we definitely cute. want to see that on there of uh, of uh, Riley. I'm sorry, of Athora catching uh, uh, May. May. And uh, but I specifically want to thank our wonderful guests, uh, Sam, uh, Miss L, and of course Lee, our guest guest. Um, <laughs> could y'all one more time tell everybody where they can find out about your wonderful show? You can. Find out about Try Rolling Better, a pod, not a podcast, it's a Twitch thing, but it's not specifically directed at the fact that I died once, okay? It's just an <laughs> idea that I came up with because people screw up and need to roll better. Um, and uh, you can check it out at twitch.tv uh, slash uh on every second Sunday night, hopefully. Um, uh, Australian time. It's a great uh, time. Yes, we have lots of fun. Wonderful. And as I as I said before, I will I will not fail. Uh, have the link information uh, in the show notes of this episode, so you can go to this episode, look at the show notes, and you'll be able to see how to find try rolling better. Uh, to mm. find that out and. I absolutely can't wait to see Marezzi and Penton yes. hang out on fun. our side of the track. You all are going to that get That will to be see. wonderful. Yes. Uh, there's also going to be an equivalent crossover uh, with two of our, uh, three of our characters going over to the Try Rolling Better verse. Uh, and if you, you can probably guess which ones those will be based on who wasn't here Indeed. today. Uh, but thank you all for playing, everyone. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you again. Y'all have. A- I, 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 thank, thank, thank you for not killing us, and thank you for nice. embedding something in my body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so well, I already him. killed Osukai. What else am I supposed to do? Um, oh come on, man! Your staff back. <laughs> Why can't you just be happy that you got your staff back? Now I'm gonna have to get surgery. And- yeah, you got it, you oh. got it back. Now you'll never lose That's it right. again. You don't have to waste now the pocket slot. <laughs> Um, no. I had stuff I, embedded I, in me, I, too. I dread to find out what Calgary's going to do with this. I dread it. To- oh, no. I uh, wanted to uh, I don't. Give, give my counterpart something to play with. Uh, so, good night, everybody. Good night. Good, good night. night, everyone. And we night. will roll with you soon. Hi, friends. I'm Andrew, also known as Calgar, the dungeon master for Try Rolling Better, uh, the show where your friendly guest characters and also father originated from. If you enjoyed their presence here in Chafing Armor, then you should come check out our show. We stream Try Rolling Better every second or third Sunday at 5pm AEST, and that'd be Sydney time for those who aren't a fan of acronyms. We do that on my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash Kalgar, K-A-L-G-A-R. We also had the pleasure of uh, borrowing your Barbarian, Sorcerer, and Rogue for a session. Come check out our playlist of prior episodes to see how many pieces I returned them in. <laughs> Uh, There should be a link to that in the show notes. Thanks for your time, and remember, if you got grappled by a brain sucker dragon, well maybe next time try rolling better. Please enjoy this first outtake of Athora cracking up.
Okay. <laughs> okay. Um <laughs> I in my full armor and with my giant sword still on my hand, I use my tail and my amazing reflexes to just backflip full on gymnastic star out of the way and it's just spectacular and I feel like showing off and I flip my hair at the end just feeling proud of myself. And let us not forget May's incredible song. Your life is your life, somewhere there is light, the gods await to delight in you. It beats the darkness, you are marvelous. Who's pretending to be who? Just do it, nothing is impossible. Just do it, yesterday you said tomorrow. Just do it, don't let your dreams be dreams. The more often you do it, the more light there will be. And she casts Mental of Inspiration. So now everybody has eight temporary hit points. Thank you again to everyone who helped make this possible. It could not have happened without Lee putting us in touch with the wonderful people over at Try Rolling Better. I want to thank Miss L, I want to thank Sam, and I want to thank the invisible hand of Calgar, or Andrew, the other dungeon master from Try Rolling Better. Guys, you need to check out their show. All of the links will be in the show notes. Take care, try rolling better, and we will roll with you soon.